Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sambhu from Cloud Tech. Today I am going to explore like if you would like to create EC2 instance from AWS CLI or if you would like to like uh, delete or terminate EC2 instance from CLI, how we can do basically that uh, AWS CLI uh, like different kind of uh, command uh, on a particular EC2 instance or if you would like to do uh, like uh, create or if you would like to check the status of the TCP instance by using AWS CLI, how we can do that. So those part today I am going to show you, you guys. Okay, guys. So let's move on to the AWS console. So what we request we think we need here, like uh, we have to set up the AWS CLI. So I have already demonstrated how we can set up the AWS CLI. So you guys can refer that video. I will give that link to this video description. So I have already done the setup. So what I am going to do, like I. This is my one uh, CLI setup is there. Here it is there. AWS S3 LS. If you check this one, right? So I have already set up is here ready. So this is the uh, CLI I am going to use here. So let me show you that how, how many instance I have here. So I have already running one instance here. So first I will show you like uh, how we can check the status of this particular running instance. So AWS EC2. check the status of that particular instance so this is the command i will give those commands to this video uh, description okay guys so now this instance is running right now if you would like to launch one more this new instance aws ec2 suppose i want to launch one instance then how we can run instance okay or if you don't know like what could be the command right so there are also one more way like just do that help so by using that command you can get to know let me show you that first aws ec2 okay ec2 there are instances help okay just type this so it will let you know like which all parameter is required these are the parameter image id instance so guys one point keep in mind while you are creating the instance by cli right so always specify the instance type like if you would like to create a t2 micro or larger instance so that type always specify otherwise if you are in the free trial right then it will be the problem it will be unnecessary some charge will come to you okay guys so that point keep in mind okay so here these are the option we have instance type image id we have that key name like a key like uh, which key uh, by using that you would like to connect that particular then subnet is the you want know, then user data you can specify it. these are the many more thing is there so and then if you want to specify that uh, key name and uh, other thing like security subnet and security group if you want to specify that also you can specify it. okay guys so let me show you that so then now here what we need image underscore id image id how we can get like uh, if you go to the aws console right so let's go to the ami and in that ami you can check that here like uh, how many uh, different kind of images there right so from here you can take one image id and just make sure you are uh, selecting the filter one or not that uh, and if you are in production then you can might be select something else as per your requirement okay guys so let's give that image id and how many uh, like uh, count like you want to launch two instance three instance so that part also keep give the count suppose one and then i want to give like a security group and then security group uh, like what security group you want to specify right if you go here let me show you that suppose this is the security group id sg this one i want to move okay so let's select this and let's give this one and then subnet okay so let's go to this vpc
let's go to here any one subnet id you can give here okay let's copy this subnet id and let's give here basic uh, like parameter you should specify and one more is the uh, the type instead i have already note down all this command uh, this is that subnet id and then security groups id and then key name and then instance type d2 micro in this itself we can give so that that will be very handy so let me select this otherwise there is a chance to mistake also Bound instance type to do micro. Let's type to do micro. This is also also an important thing. Which key you would like to give? Okay. So key name. Suppose I want to give that key name. Let me select one key here. So let's go to the EC2. And if you go down here in this uh, key section, right here we have one volume here. So I have one already key pair, so you can give this key pair name also. this thing so this is good enough to run one instance so let's try let's try this one so yeah now it is running it right? maybe that command whatever uh, that command have some mistake there okay so let us check the status now We check the status here now. If you see here, right? I don't know instance status. One is running. One describe instance. See here. This AMI ID. This one instance T2 micro. Status is disabled. Or you can check this uh, to this particular uh, EC2 dashboard also. So let's go to here. Now it is pending state. So see, this is the instance we just now created, right? So if you see here, right, it is showing like pending, right? So go up a little bit. So it is still pending. Sometime, so now instance is created. So this is how if you would like to create an instance from CLI, you can create. And if you want to terminate also, right? So let me show you the terminate command. So I add up this is to Check the instance uh, status also. Let me show you this. ESCRI describe instance. So this status still it is in initializing status here. So it is running and here it is initializing status. You can check that. 
and it is state and it's like, uh, like this also you can check the status there are multiple command i will give that those all these command okay guys and if you want to terminate this instance so aws ec2 this or you can copy from here edit choice okay mistake here terminating so now if you if you check the status is starting down right now if you check the status right here let me show you that now it is empty right and if you come here it will be go away now it is shutting down right so like this different kind of command we can do if you want to then uh, create a tag you can create a tag also if you want like uh, filter the tag on the based on that that also you can do so uh, like this we can do like a cli command you can do that control on that issue instance so i hope this session will help you guys and if you feel this video is helpful then i will request you guys please subscribe and share surrounding with your friend that will really inspire to me okay guys see you in my next video chalo bye